Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, that 11 radio interface on a Cisco router. On an 800, 800 series uh, Cisco router. So right now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to this slide here. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you the command unit. You know, the, uh, this interface uh, is something that is uh, not visible you know, on, the, on, the, on the wireless router. It is something uh, that is, uh, it is a logical interface. And uh, in order to do the configuration for this interface, you don't need to put an IP address on the interface. What you just need to do is uh, you need to configure the SSID. You know, you're gonna be. I'm gonna show you how to do the configuration. I'm gonna open up the terminal right now and show you how you can do the configuration. But uh, just keep in mind that this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be all you need for the configuration, like uh, for the interface. You don't need to put an IP address. And uh, once you finish uh, with the SSID configuration, you're gonna go to the create uh, sub interfaces, uh, sub interfaces from the that element radio, the sub interface is from the that element radio, and once you do that, you can go to the interface VLAN one because you know uh, on that Cisco 800 series router, they have an interface VLAN one that's going to be uh, uh, representing the, the LAN the LAN site, you know, uh, and even on that interface, you don't you don't need to put an IP, an IP address. You just need this command up here, the bridge uh, group interface, because uh, this interface and uh, this interface up here, they're going to be bridging, you know. So I can say that uh, the interface VLAN one going to bridge this interface to the LAN uh, to the LAN side, you know. And once you do that, you know you're going to create another large, another another interface that is going to be a logical interface. And that interface is going to be a BVI interface. So uh, this is uh, the step by step uh, procedure you need to do in order to do the, to, uh, to, uh, to get a, a right configuration for this uh, kind of uh, wireless interfaces on a, on a Cisco 800, 800 uh, series router. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my terminal below, and uh, I have the terminal right here. I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do is um, go to Com 50 and what you need to do is uh, put an interface that I will then measure. Yeah. Um, you see the command is incomplete, you know, interface that I want to The radio, the number is zero. Now we are on the interface configuration mode, you know. So you don't need to put no IP, you know. You don't need to put any IP address, you know, IP address on this interface. You know? No IP address, you know. So what you're gonna need to do is uh, you're gonna need to uh, you go to the SSID configuration. You're going to do SSID. SSID. And uh, you put the SSID name. You know, it's going to ask you the, the ID. You know, it's going to this. Uh, what it means the line? It means you need to put a name up here. So I'm going to put uh, SSID. I'm going to put uh, test. And uh, I'm on the SSID configuration mode. You see up there. I'm gonna put VLAN one because I'm gonna say this uh, SSID is gonna be uh, uh, is gonna be uh, is gonna represent VLAN one. You know, in uh, if you are having to configure uh, more than one VLAN, you're gonna be like. Uh, Doing this configuration, you know, uh, like uh, on each VLAN, you know, we're gonna have to do the configuration. So VLAN one, VLAN one, 
sorry about that. I need to put uh, remove this this is go up here. Control V. Now here go here. So once you do that, this the SSID configuration. Now you're gonna go and uh, you're gonna go. You're gonna exit from the SSID configuration mode, and you're gonna do interface that. the second interface configuration so once you do that you're going to do the encapsulation uh, because this is going to be like uh, this is going to be this is going to be a virtual trunk between uh, this interface up here and uh, this interface VLAN one so we're going to be encapsulation encapsulation uh, that one key that one key It's going to be VLAN 1, that's the VLAN number. That should be question mark. You see, asking the VLAN ID you now. VLAN 1. And the, 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 the next uh, keyword is going to be native to make the VLAN uh, native. VLAN. You don't need to do that. It is optional. You can do native or you can do it like that. Anymore. I'm going to just leave it like that. Anymore. So once you do that, I'm going to uh, create a bridge group. Bridge. And this is going to be bridging the, the two interface. Bridge group. I'm going to name it one. And if, if it's going to bridge between this interface up here and the VLAN one interface right here. So we are going to use the, the second interface the configuration. So I'm going to use it from here. And now we go to the interface VLAN one configuration. Interface VLAN one. And uh, in this configuration, we don't put any IP address. So I'm gonna, you see up here on this interface, we don't put any IP address guys, you know. So I'm gonna do no IP address in this interface. No IP address. So uh, what you just need to do is the bridge. Bridge group one, that's it. So this is gonna tell the those two interface that they go they're gonna be bridging, you know. So this guy is gonna bridge this interface to the to the land side, you know, to the VLAN uh, people, you know. And now the interface, the the interface that that's gonna take the IP address is gonna be this logical interface. And uh, we're gonna exit from here. And that's the VVI. VVI interface. We're going to do interface, interface, uh, the one. BBI, you see the BBI, this interface is the bridge group interface, you know. This is the interface that's, that's, uh, that's going to play the, the bridge role between those two interfaces, you know. So, uh, we're going to do BBI. VVI and we have to give it a number and we have to give it a number you can, you can take a number from 1 to all the way to 55 so I'm going to take one VVI one and uh, I'm going to do IP address IP address I'm going to do 192 168 that one and this one mask I'm gonna take 24 bits in the mask usually uh, on the left side we have private address you know just keep that in mind 
so two by five that's five by that so uh, and that's it you know and this interface is gonna you know if you want to if you want to be on the safe side you can put no shutdown you know but usually it's uh, uh, up by default you know no shutdown and you know and now you see the interface is uh, clear so so that's it if you want you can do ip not inside because you're going to be mapping those private uh, those, uh, those private addresses to the to the uh, to the main interfaces that's going to be connected to the service provider you know so basically that's uh, all you need for the configuration for the because this interface is uh, let me tell you something is a lot of people don't know how to do the configuration because i know guys a lot of guys even me myself when i when I uh, first got my CCNA, I didn't know how to do the configuration for the data level baby. So I had to do a lot of research because uh, there is not a lot of documentation on the net uh, trying to explain uh, people how to do the configuration for this kind of uh, wireless uh, router, Cisco wireless router, 800 series. So I hope you guys uh, learned something from this, from this video and I would like to thank you for, for watching. Uh, and I will, and I, and I, I would like to thank you for watching, and I, and I will see you for my next video. Thank you.